What's up guys, this is Miasin and welcome to this nasty combo video and deck profile featuring the White Forest toy deck as well as some new support from Rage of the Abyss. Even though it's not really White Forest support, I think there's also White Forest support but it kinda sucks so we're gonna be disregarding it completely. And yeah, this is not the White Forest runic deck that you're used to seeing from Joshua Schmidt. No, 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 we're playing the toy engine as a combo deck, not really as a mid-range deck and control-esque style with the runic cards, no, no. But yeah, this deck is really fun to play. Every single hand is different because we're not always gonna be seeing the exact same starters. So yeah, it's a very intricate... Uh, uh, combo deck and uh, very enjoyable as well like you really just feel like you're playing a puzzle every single time you're drawing hands with this deck which is the beauty about it anyways before we go any further friendly reminder to smash the like and subscribe button it really mo motivates me a lot to keep breathing and not dying because honestly without your support i would probably just not exist at the moment and also a huge massive shout out to my sponsors inspire tcg as well as dueling guard they have the best uh, play mats deck boxes and art cards so please check them out and use the coupon code yasin656 for 5% off. The link will be in the description box below as always. And with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, so this is something that we couldn't really do before. But now, post Rage of the Abyss, look at what you can do when you got a Stellar and any Spell or Trap card. So normal summon and then pitch that. And then special summon your uh, Sylvie from deck. And then that is going to be searching for the uh, Tail. And then go for the Arciella, discard. And your ki you can search your deck for any Light Spellcaster. So in this situation, it's going to be Chaotic Alert Queen. And we're going to be going Chin Link 1, uh, Stellar, Chin Link 2, Tail, set itself back face down. And we're now going to be activating that Tails in order to search our deck for uh, LZ and uh, Synchro Summon for Diabelle, recycle back the Tails. And then LZ effect to discard, a special summon it, and then search for the Arciella, I think, or Rusia. Oh my, Com confusing name. Anyways, link off into Protector Whelp of the Destruction Swordsman. I think if you have watched my videos in the past, this shouldn't even be uh, surprising you at this point. But using any two monsters, you can summon a Link 2 that can Foolish for any Buster Blader, sorry, any Destruction Sword card from Redact to the Grave. And we can send the Dragon Buster Destruction Sword directly to the Grave, which is completely nasty because Chaotic Alert Queen, by discarding one other Light or Dark, we can summon it. And then on the field, we can target a monster in either graveyard and equip it to discard. So I think you can see where this is going. We can get back the Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. And also, as an added bonus, if we equipped a light or dark, we get to summon a dark alert queen either from the hand, uh, sorry, from the deck or grave. So even if you draw it, it's not a brick because we can just use it as the discard and then revive back from the graveyard. So actually, none of these cards are bricks. If you draw a dragon the destruction sword, it can be the discard for this. And uh, same thing with alert queen. And also, uh, both of these cards allow you to kind of skip steps. So I wouldn't even consider any card here a brick whatsoever. Anyways, now we're going to be linking off into the uh, Silo Hat Rabbit, which is going to be getting our Azarune, and then we can revive back the Rusia as well as the Sylvie, and either make a Baguska, or if we want an Omni Negate to protect herself from like Duster Lightning Storm, we can go for Visa's Amritara. Yes, it's a level 8 Synchro that can be made using two tuners. It's very weird, I know. And we can search for the reframing, which is pretty much an Omni Negate. So yeah, we've got a Buster Lock, thanks to um, the Dragon Buster Destruction Sword being equipped to the Chaotic Alert Queen, as well as the Azarune, the Rabbit, and the uh, Visa's Amritara with the reframing. So that's actually really nasty, using just a Stellar in any Spell or Chap card. Now imagine how nasty this combo is when you got a full hand. Alright, so in this situation, I have a Stellar as well as Toy Box, Chicken Game, uh, Triple Tactic Talent, and Thrust, so <laughs> quite clearly this hand has gas for days, and it doesn't lose the hand shops. Anyways, Toy Box first, Toy Soldier as well as Toy Tank, there we go. And anyways, normal summon a Stellar, uh, Pitch the Soldier, and then summon the Sylvie, Chain Link 1, Sylvie, Chain Link 2, Soldier, Revive itself back, and that can search for a level 4 Light, because we control Toy Box, and this can search for the uh, Woes of the White Forest. Better off in this situation, because if our opponent tries to summon a monster with over 1500 attack to jump over the chaotic alert queen we can synchro summon on the opponent's turn for the book of eclipse guy and then just like that your uh, buster lock is completely uh, safe anyways activate the chicken game draw one card chicken game is completely cracked in this deck because we can use it again and it's just gonna be a free fodder for our cards anyway summon the uh, rusiella and then send the chicken game surge the chaotic alert queen we have freaking six cards in hand and it's gonna go even even more up seven cards and then chicken game draw again and then we have even more cards to play with. This is nasty. And then LZ page the toy tank, summon itself. And then search your deck for any white force. This is going to be the discard fodder. Revive back the toy tank with its effect. And then tribute the toy tank, summon back a tuner. From here on out, we can beat Nibiru. We never had to commit into Chaotic Alert Queen, so Nibiru just doesn't beat us. But now we can synchro summon into Immortal Dragon. And then synchro the Immortal Dragon and the Toy Soldier for this card right here. Arms of Gen X return zero. In order to summon this monster, you need a Dark Tuner and any non-tuner. It's a level uh, 10 machine monster. 
and it reads when your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can banish one monster from your grave with a C match attribute, negate that activation, and if you do destroy that monster. So if your opponent tries to nib us, we can banish a light and then negate. And if your opponent uses the effect of like a dark monster, like even a bestial, we can also negate by banishing a dark. And if we can use that ash and get it to the grave, then we can also like negate a, a fire effect, like another ash or ten by monster effect. So that's actually really cool. This card is broken. Negates and destroys, and it is not uh once per turn, really. It's up to six times per turn but once for each attribute. It's very similar to like Magia, how you can negate one monster, one spell, one shop. So you can't negate the same thing twice. Uh, so yeah, it's, a, it's an incredible card for sure. It's like a double neg negate for us. Anyway, summon the Rusia and then discard the uh, Woes in order to draw one card. Uh, so uh, yeah, we still have six cards in hand. This is completely unfair. And then reset back the Woes. So again, very uh, nice board presence. And then revive back the Sylve by shuffling back the Rusia or Arciella. Their names are so confusing, I will never get uh, get over this. Anyways, Protector, Well, Foolish, the Dragon Buster, the Shucks and Sword, and then Chaotic, a Lurk Queen, discard a uh, White Forest Monster, and then get back the Dragon Buster, the Shucks and Sword, and also summon a Lurk Queen in the process, and then link off for the uh, Silla Hat Rabbit, get your Azaruin. Could also be anything else, really, it doesn't have to just be that. And then set one card, pass turn there, and this is completely unbreakable. Like, there's... Okay, yeah, sure, there's evenly matched and stuff like that, but if you're doing this on Game 1... Yo, good luck beating this. It's really correct. Like, Dark Ruler doesn't beat you. Like, practically nothing beats you. You still have a bunch of cards in hand. It's really unfair. If your opponent tries to draw with your chicken game, you can chain the Diabelle, send the chicken game so your opponent pays a thousand and doesn't draw a card. And then you summon the dude that can pop a spell or chop even though it doesn't matter. And then you can quick sync into Chaos Angel, banish another card. And then you can use the graveyard effect of one of your monsters, summon back, and then use the woes, and then synchro summon for the Book of Eclipse and protect your uh, buster lock. But yeah, the new support is really crack. Chaotic Alert Queen is MVP. All right, so for the deck profile, we are not trying to play too many hand shops because this is a combo deck and we need the gas in order to play through our opponent's hand shops and through the opponent's board. Uh, but Ash, I want to say, is probably the best hand shop that you can play because we can also negate Mochimi Fueros. So this really does matter uh three imperm just because we can top deck it for a turn and still use uh still use it for some utility and we can also thrust into it in case we already have the woes thrust is really good in this deck because there's a couple of nice uh normal spells and normal traps that you can get access to so either chicken game into well terraforming into chicken game and then keep using uh this yes, keep having stuff uh, as discard fodder for things or even tails and then discard it and then you can actually use it dark ruler the one of or talent whatever so it, it's just a nice card and also post game one it becomes even better Forbidden Droplet, this card is a custom card in this deck because when you got Toy Box and Forbidden Droplet, you can get your engine started even if you don't even have like any White Forest cards. Because you can go Toy Box, get your Toy Soldier, Toy Tank, and then Droplet send both, and then they both trigger, and you can get two monsters. And then Toy Soldier can search your deck for Sylvie, and then Sylvie can search the spell or the trap, and then you can activate the spell, and then search the LZ, discard, like pitch the Toy Box, and then Special Summon that, and then get another search. It, it, it never ends. Like, the amount of advantage that you can generate in this deck off of, like, random combination of hands is simply remarkable. That's the reason why I said that this deck really just feels like you're playing a puzzle every single time. All of your hands are different, all of your sequences are completely different, but it really does feel super rewarding. And then, yeah, one Dark Ruler, one Talent, and one Cobb the Grave, so yeah, 15 non-engine. And we're playing a lot of engine cards because, obviously, we're not trying to brick, so 3 Estellar, 3 LZ, 3 Toy Box, these, uh, these cards, you're really trying to see them as well as two Rusia, two Sylvie. I think this is less good than in the Runic version. Three Toy Soldier and one Toy Tank. So you can also place uh, Reinforcement of the Army if you really want to, but I, I think that's a little overkill. You should be fine with just three Soldier and three Toy Box. And then obviously Terraforming Chicken Game, so you can play a 38-card deck. But these cards are even like nastier in this deck because it's not just like Upstart Goblin where you draw a card but it does nothing. It's you draw a card and you have something to pitch for your effect of your monsters. And then yeah, one Tails, one Woes. And for the, um, well, the, the, I guess the kind of breaks, but not really. As a rune, uh, the Alert Queen Monster, Dragon Buster, Destruction Sword, and Chaotic Alert Queen. Going second, you should side all four of these cards, because honestly, they're not going to be achieving anything productive. Your opponent already summoned monsters. But going first, these cards are your best friends. As a matter of fact, if you really want to, uh, and you don't want to max out that, if you don't want to play, like, some bricks in your main deck, you can just delegate these cards to the side deck, and then going first, I mean, game one, you really just have, like, the cleanest deck in the room. Anyways, in the extra deck, we got the Draco Berserker of the Tenyi, the Diabelle, obviously, the uh, Arciella, and the Silvera, so that's the Book of Eclipse, that's the Searcher, and this card just does so much. It summons a Synchro Tuner, and it can recycle back a Spell Trap card from Regarve to her hand when you Synchro Summon it, using very specifically a Tuner Synchro. Otherwise, it's not gonna work, but it's a generic level 8 monster. Anyways, Coral Dragon, the Zapper Shrimp, the Arms of Genex Return Zero to negate Nibiru, Chaos Angel, as well as Immortal Dragon. This is how we are summoning this. However, you can also go Immortal Dragon, send the Banshee, 
and then get access to Zombie World. So if you're playing against, let's say, Flunderese, that could be nice. And maybe some other decks. I think there's some other decks that actually do lose to this card. So it's a cool card. Anyways, Typhon, Baguska, also very good in order to protect your Dragon Buster or Suction Sword Lock. So your opponent cannot run over it. Unless he has like a Link Monster with over 1500 attack, which honestly isn't too difficult to achieve. SP, IP, uh, Silhouette Rabbit, and the Protector Well. So yeah, that's the reason why I like this uh, Buster Lock so much in this deck. It's very minimalistic uh, commitment. It's really just three cards in the main deck, one card in the extra deck, and that's it. That's all. Anyways, for the idea section and potential side deck cards, or even cards that you might even want a main deck, we got the Banshee, the Zombie World, the Visa's Amritara that can surge the reframing, as well as Omega in this pattern if you want to play some Bestial Monsters. There's a really nice combo where you can summon Omega and then rip a card, and then summon Abyss to old, and then Synchro Summon for this powder. Revive back the Omega, rip another card. So yeah, you can definitely do some cool things, even without Chaotic Color Queen, but this is like the nastiest thing that you can do in this deck. Anyways, Phantasme, Mulchamiz, uh, either Ferraros, Perolia, doesn't matter too much, I don't really care. But it's not like you can use them for anything spicy, because they're not spells and shops, which is one of the main reasons why these hand shops that aren't Ash and Imperium, I, I don't really think they're super worth it. Which is the reason why Thrust, uh, Droplet, etc., in this deck, I think makes more sense. Anyways, Nibiru's Secret Village, very good for when you're going first. Duster as the Thrust Target, Different Dimension Ground, and Nibir again as Thrust Targets. And Skill Drain, because you can easily shut it down at any moment, so this is a must one of in your side deck. Anyways, that's all I had for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know your thoughts on this nasty uh, card right here. Chaotic Alert Queen, do you think it's gonna get banned, or it might get Dragon Buster or Shucks and Sword banned one day? Because as long as uh, this exists, there is no way Union Carry can get unbanned. This is for sure a little too nasty. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.